Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode here on the Shamblecroft server. We have reached episode 32, and you join me here in my base, where we are basically just briefly stopping off today, because it is finally time for our collab with NJ. So, over here, you might remember from last episode, we've gathered up some materials. I'm hoping this is enough. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take them with me to the Christmas district. And that is where we're going to be uh, joining up with NJ. So here's hoping that NJ is good and ready over there. Um, I'm going too far. Why am I going up here? The nether pool is here. I have a very illogical base design. I'm thinking, now that I'm here, we actually have Johnny up there as so, though. Hello, Johnny. The heck are you doing? Hello, Johnny. Hey. Good lord. Anyway, I need to extend that portal. I'm thinking so we can have a portal across all floors. But anyway, while Johnny's up there clearly being, you know, the spare fally, keeping an eye out for this place while I go elsewhere, what we're going to do, we're going to head over to the Christmas district and rendezvous with NJ. Right, almost there. So if you don't know where the Christmas district is, it is at the same island as the Halloween district. So basically just head all the way down the no ow, northern tunnel. And you're there, pretty much. Oh, yeah, here we go. You go away, you prick. Go away. Go away. There we go. Yeah, so basically all the way to the north end of the north tunnel. Follow the ice path to the right. And Bob's your uncle, and you'll be at the Halloween district. Uh, well, the event island, rather. So, Halloween district, as you remember, Christmas district. Uh, we can see that there's been a lot of progress here. Actually, let me, um, before NJ arrives, she is on her way. Let me show you what has happened here since last time. So, Snowball Arena is done, as you know. There's been starts of some stuff down here. But the biggest change so far is that the tree is almost done, um, thanks to input from a lot of the community members, so thanks for that. Um, and over here is a new build by Buildmonger, who has actually built a three... Well, it's basically three builds in one, and I know that Buildmonger has been working on it. I don't know if all of these belong to him, but uh, it's a very cool build. Um, that I'm not going to spoil just yet because it's not completely finished, so I'll show that off later. Christmas tree, as I say, almost done. Um, Snowball Arena is done, as you remember from episode 30. Uh, and now all that remains is to build the gingerbread house, and we picked this spot for just that a little while ago. So, yeah. I'm guessing all we have to do now is wait for NJ. Hey there, Fally. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Um, welcome. So it looks like we have a pretty, uh, pretty good site here. We we even have a we, we even have a um uh, have, some friends. Yeah, we even have a fan club. Uh, well, oh. that was bound to happen eventually. Come here. Come yeah. here and and take it. I think they came to see us. Yep, they did. Come here. Why am there I such a lousy go. shot? There, that that works. Okay. Uh, do, do I need to go in the bed? Do we have one here? Yeah. There's I'll... one at the tree. Yeah, I'll fly. I'll fly over here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm gonna have to cut the fact I was stifling a laugh because when you said, "Do I need to get into bed?" I had to literally clench everything in my body to not make a dirty joke. <laughs> It's gonna be this kind of episode. It's gonna be it's gonna be one of those episodes. It's gonna be an episode. It's gonna be an episode. Definitely. So, hi everybody. Hello. Welcome to the shambles. Welcome to Shamblecraft. Living up to the name. Mm-hmm. What was we don't what, disappoint. What was the what was the catchphrase we agreed on yesterday on the Discord server? Uh, oh yeah. Oh. Welcome to Shamblecraft, the place your mother warned you about. <laughs> 
very, yeah. very true. So, what I've brought over, I have, this is three shulker boxes of basically the leftover materials from when I built the snowball arena. Okay, uh, so what... we've got a nice spatter smattering of wool and yeah. uh, other wood. Um, I have my shulkers here. Let me plunk these down. I just, I kind of grabbed them and ran. So I have boop, boop, and boop. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait, and, and more boop. Okay, so um, lots of boop. I took these for, I took this from the wool farm for a completely different project. And the project um, decided that those were not the right materials. Okay. So I actually have a shulker full of materials waiting for me when that build happens, which will be in episode six for those of you paying attention. This is the Christmas special. Yes. So here we go. Yeah. This so is my what... Christmas special. I think this is what your episode something uh, or other. This is going to be episode thirty-two. Fabulous. And it's a it's a weird one because for the first well not for the first time for the first time in a while we've actually been recording Shamblecraft episodes out of order. Mm -hmm. So that episode happened. thirty-three has was actually fin we actually finished recording episode thirty-three already, but when mm -hmm. you're watching this in episode thirty-two, that episode hasn't come out yet. So, mm. so you can look forward to episode thirty-three. That's going to be a good one. But Fantastic. yeah, uh, what I can tell is we're not going to yes. be short on brown wool because if you look Ooh. over here, <laughs> I have also brought dirt, some bits and bobs, and brown different brown blocks that I had lying around. So, we are not bereft in the brown category. No, but I mean, it's a gingerbread house. Yes. It kind of has it's to be brown. It's going to be brown. Yeah. It's going to be brown whether we want it to be or not. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, so what, I was, yeah, what I was thinking, what if we just sort story. of start by deciding on the size? Because I'm thinking yes. um, it can't be too big, but it can't be too small. So yes. I was thinking, like, what if we do one corner like there, and then mm -hmm. one corner like there? Because mm -hmm. then it will be overlooking the entire... Then it will be overlooking the entire snowball arena. The only issue is that when I then yes. get over here, it's going to be... It's going to be there. So I might have mm. to do some terraforming. But I mean... Maybe slightly, yes. Yeah. We might have to fiddle oh. with... We might have to fiddle with yeah. the outline of the beach. Huh, if or only whatever we, that is. If only we knew someone who did terraforming. Yeah, imagine that. I wonder who. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, and I can't really... I was about to say, I just did an ad for this, but I didn't. I did an ad for it in episode 33. That isn't out yet. Well, I guess that's something people will have to wait with anticipation yeah. for. Yeah, the ad will be with you shortly. Okay, so what I can do in the meantime is we need to cover this with snow. It's already turning to mycelium. Good grief. Yeah. Okay. Let me, um, I think, wait, where's the snow, where's the snow golem? Uh, the snow is over there. Like, go straight, that straight past the, the triple store there. The ye olde Christmas sea story. Ah, I see it. Okay, let's go. Yes, I have a. Some people have a need for speed. I have a need for cheese. I have a need for memes and cursed content. Yes, that's the value you bring to the table. It's better than nothing. Usually, yeah. in in my Discord, it's all um, it's all memes about New Jersey and coffee puns. Ooh, speaking of coffee, I got actually. Yes. I opened my. Uh, I don't know how it is in in, uh, in America, but in Norway, the tradition is basically um, Christmas presents you get from family and friends you open on Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. but Christmas presents you get from like coworkers and or your job you open them straight away. Mm -hmm. And okay. I opened, uh, I got a Christmas present from my coworkers, and oh, that's uh, nice. he's been teasing me that I only had one coffee mug because I have my Twin Peaks Sheriff Department mug. Mm -hmm. uh, that I've been using, and he's been mocking me like, he, "Like, dude, you need to get another mug. You can't keep drinking coffee from the same mug every day." So they got me a mug from a store that sells like funny Norwegian mugs, and it oh, that's is delightful. And one of the things that we love in Norway are terribly translated idioms. Like, we take Norwegian idioms and we translate them literally to English, and they make no sense. 
Mm -hmm. So I have now a mug that says in English, and like it says it in English on it, it says that you can shit in. Oh dear. Which is a, it is a Norwegian idiom that is da kan du dritta i. Mm-hmm. Which li- the like meaning wise it would translate to uh, like no way screw that, but it's been translated directly to that you can shit in, which looks great on a coffee mug actually. But yeah, I'm just playing around here now with the sort of concrete mm-hmm. wool gradient. I'm watching. How does it look? So far, so good. Because- we'll have to figure out where exactly windows will go because there were windows in the. F- not necessarily in the back of the gingerbread house, but they were always in the front. I don't remember there being windows on the sides. Um, Norwegian gingerbread houses usually have windows on the side, and you, usually not... Norwegian uh, gingerbread houses, they have a single door in the front, one mm-hmm. window each short side, and two windows in the back. I'm actually looking up gingerbread houses, um, uh, like a side view, and... Okay, yes, they do have them on the side. Why have I? Why can't I remember that they were there on the sides like that? Go figure. All right, there we go. I am back up to snuff. So let's see, where can we put these windows? And um, did you go to sleep, or do you need me to go do that? Uh, I'll uh, I'll fly over. Okay. Uh... But yes, the white frosting on the sides here with the mushroom blocks i think is going to work exceptionally well oh yeah we'll uh, looking at it from up. looking at it from a distance from over here it looks pretty good i think Let's the wool concrete gradient is a good choice agreed but i don't Let's think do a slow fly round oh yeah 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 this looks good this looks very good yeah ah. i think adding but the the only thing is we we are going to need a third block for the roof Given that, we'll have to make either slabs or stairs. And I was thinking spruce or dark oak. But I think spruce is better. Dark oak is too dark. Spruce spruce is fine. Uh, I did not bring my spruce. Well. Did you? I don't, but I have a shulker box in my base. And... With the magic of editing, I am back at my base where I know that I've been left a shulker box of spruce locks. And using the same cheeky method of editing, if I just say bada bing bada boom, I'm back where we started. Look at that. Clever editing. Yay! Creative use of game mechanics. Welcome right. Back. Um, and I have brought. A shulker box of spruce. Fabulous. Okay. So I'm thinking what we could so, do to begin with. Maybe I can take a couple of these and I can make... Because that's the one thing we, we are going to need. A crafting table. I was about to say... I it, I forgot to ask you <laughs> to bring the crafting table. The basic, the basic item... <laughs> The basic item of Minecraft that we always forget to bring and always forget to make since yeah i would that's just to sort of find the middle i would say okay i would say if i go up here now um Mm -hmm. let's see if i think maybe this is that a bit tall um that might be a bit tall if it if it was a two floor gingerbread house then that would be okay but this is a single this is a single room kind of gingerbread house yeah. so i mean looking um, from over here it doesn't look too bad actually what the the height yeah all right hold on let me get up there i'll fill in the entire thing so you get a better feel for it Okay, let me see. I feel like it looks bigger from oh. when you're standing down there, but once you got up to height, it actually looks pretty okay. Okay, yeah, now that I'm seeing it where it's staggered like that, and uh, it looks like the stairs and the roof, I think that's a lot better. Because I think yeah. I, I just needed to see it. Because then you can have the beam right. there. And we want to do, do and we want to do that in the brown concrete, correct? 
What, the beam? No, the Ow. wall, the wall, the jagged wall. Yeah, I would say just keep go keep the brown wool at the bottom and then the brown concrete going up. And we can extend the brown wool going up in case we run out of brown concrete. Because I okay. think, let me check how much I have. I have, okay, yeah, I, I only have a stack and a half left of brown concrete. Well, I don't, I think, here's the thing. I don't think we're going to need more than the stack and a half of the brown concrete because the brown concrete is essentially going to be this jagged part on the two sides. Yeah. The stairs, the spruce <coughs> stairs are going to make up the rest. That's true. We won't need that much brown concrete, really. And then what we can do is we can use either spruce planks or something like that to go above um, above the beam. And we could use that, uh, like I did in my starter house, to conceal a um, to conceal a chimney or a campfire to make a chimney. Yeah, you that know, would gingerbread houses really have chimneys. They do. And I just threw my hoe for no reason, because I'm so excited about, about this idea, I guess, that we could insert the campfire, which I don't, I think it's, um, I think it's sticks and a, a piece of coal, I think. Um, I know, wait, no, that's a torch. Like that. or, or but something slab, like that. Slab, sticks, and coal? Or slab, something? sticks, and coal. Um, I don't have any coal or sticks. I have them all at my base, but um, <coughs> I'm sure we can figure something out. Yeah, I'll have to blur that cough because the mute button didn't work. Well, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Yeah, I think this looks okay. I and think then... it looks fantastic. Because then the next bit will be, and I'll try to do that just as a, to see how it looks. Okay, and okay point, so point, 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 point. let me... Does that look okay from down there? Well, it looks okay from up here. Hold on, let's see if I can figure out how to land. Oh, hey, look at that. I did it. Yay. My only it's... thought right now is... Oh, is oh come on. What did you do? <laughs> Ow. I fell off. I fell off. I got distracted <laughs> by you falling off and fell off. Whoops. The irony. Oh, goodness. All right, I'm going to come back in there and... Um... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm such a derp. It's fine. I'm gonna come back in there and uh, I'll, I'll. Oh, there you go. That works. That's that's big brain right there. Big brain. Um. All right. Yeah. I'll. Um. I guess I'll. Can I? I'm not gonna make that. Hold on. I think I'll come over here. And go down this way and then start putting the stairs in on this side, provided I don't fall again. Or put them in upside down because you know that also works. That's what I do. I mean, stairs is stairs. Mm-hmm. That's totally fine. Um, we want to have a. I mean, I we could probably put the campfire right on um right on one of these things as long as the chimney comes up. Um, because we want that um we want that smoke to come through. Like we want. I want. I I would like for it to be a um a reputable house in that respect yeah. and that was not what i intended i wish there was a way that we could um decorate this with lights uh, um like um like lights or or gumballs or you know what i mean like yeah. gumdrops and stuff i was actually thinking about i was actually thinking about what um about what it could be uh, hold on, let me get out of the view that I'm in. There we go. I was actually thinking about how we could, um, how we could make this, have gumdrops and stuff. And the first thought I had was, if there was a wandering trader somewhere, then we would be able to get mini heads. Yeah. And with the new custom villager, we can also get invisible item frames. Mm-hmm. Hold on, let me... Let me put those stairs in across the top. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to record a segment introducing that villager. I need to do that later. Okay, make a note. Yeah. And so what are your thoughts on how we should be able to accomplish that, Fally? 
Okay, so what I have in here that I did bring for this very purpose is mm -hmm. I have in uh, here is some white concrete and some red concrete mm -hmm. that we can use. And in this one is also some blue wool, some magma blocks, some warped uh, warts, uh, mm -hmm. various colors, bits and bobs. And I'm thinking if we stick those in uh, invisible item frames... Mm -hmm. that we do have on the server we okay. can use that for decorating the only thing i'm not entirely sold on right now is the edge here i feel like the i feel like the edge is missing something i'm gonna it's... go i'm gonna go from a distance and have a look okay down. i'm gonna clearly come with you. you know what ah oh, i nearly managed to land on top of the christmas tree i couldn't have done that if i'd tried oh i landed all right Ooh, what, where? You, oh, there you are. I'm in the tree. Yeah, you are directly below me. Yes, okay. So I think the the concern with the white mushroom is is that it, it doesn't look like it's part of the, the gingerbread house. And yeah. I, I think it's because the four sides are glued together with it, but the roof itself isn't. So what we might have to do is take the... the, the top concrete or wool from around and underneath the roof and replace it with those brown mushrooms so that it's it looks like that glue yeah i, I think that's part of it and we also have extra snow and we have the snow golem yeah. we might want to dot the roof if we could i don't think we're going to be able to because we use stairs but if there was a way for us to dot the roof with snow or something else that might give it a, a, a little more of that gingerbread quality. I have an idea. Okay. It just dawned on me. Mm -hmm. And I've sort of been acting it out like a moron here, Laurel and Hardy style. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the building to our right. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What if we use for all the, the outer edges of the roof, we use court stairs and we change the stems for the same type of courts. You know, that actually might be a wise investment because the quartz is a lot brighter. It does look more like yeah. the glaze or the frosting than the white stems. The white it stems does. were a good idea for proof of concept and that has been proven for sure. Yes. But, but yeah, yes. because, because what I what we can do then is if we take the let me fly down here. Let's just crash into the roof because that's the safer way to get down. What if we take basically these here, or this outer layer right here, and mm -hmm. also this row of stairs here, and we do that like so? Yes. The entire framework of yes. the roof is that. To, I think it's called smooth courts. That type there, and we do the same here. So we use smooth courts for that entire sort of border. It would be smooth quartz because regular quartz is just a little bit lighter than the, the mushroom brick. And that's not what we're looking for. Like the, the regular regular quartz to me is what I'm going to use for my base's front porch and stairs because it looks worn and slightly dirty and scuffed. Okay. And that's not what we want here. We need clean. We need clean lines. Okay. So, I have quartz at my base. I think I have some as well. Let me go check. Um, okay, if not, you can go to my base. Okay. Um, it's in one of the shulkers in the first level of the basement. Okay, well, I'll meet you back here in a couple of minutes. That sounds good. And we are back. Nut. There we go. And we are at the Christmas District once again. So, I have yeah, brought I a shulker box of quartz. Welcome and back. Unless I have more quartz stacked away somewhere where I have no idea, which I probably do, this is all the smooth quartz I had. Oh, this is plenty. This should ho this should hopefully be enough, but you never know. Okay, where did you put the bed? Inside. You said you... Inside. Okay, let me be the one to take the nap. Would help if I actually got in the bed properly. There we go. Okay, so now Operation Replace the Blocks yeah. is underway. Actually, you know I'm, what? I I'm think gonna, I want to... I'm going to jump down and have a look. We uh, And I would say... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh yeah, oh. To totally. <laughs> that is uh, that is looking a lot better straight away. Oh, much much better. Um, I think the quartz stair on either end at the very edge. I think that just that's icing on the gingerbread house. <laughs> that's icing on the house, indeed. Yes. I actually have an idea. I'm gonna have to try and see if this okay. works. So let me. Okay, I'm gonna go put the other one up. Let me try another swish maneuver. Wow. Okay. Swish away. I've actually managed to land. I'm actually impressed. Okay. Can you go into the gingerbread house and kind of see what I'm where what I'm doing? Okay. You are making you a hole. Yeah. Stuck. yeah, I see that you're fucking hole. Hello. That's perfectly fine. So the campfire would go here, but we need something um and maybe we can do one of two things. Either A, we can cut in from the side and put the the fireplace on the side or the campfire on the side, like the the fireplace for the campfire on the side, or we can we can build like a makeshift fireplace along this sidewall, right? Yeah. And then cut this beam out or have it be, you know, like non-existent and then um, have I mean, we don't this need stick the beam. Up. Yeah. I was saying we don't yeah. need the beam really. We just need something to hold the campfire in place. Yeah. And, and that can, can be hidden in the chimney. Yeah. And that's what... why that's why keeping it here is not a bad idea cuz we need something that where the it's going to be low enough where the smoke's going to come out. Yeah. I would say we'd just make a brick fireplace over here and we remove that beam altogether. Well, yeah, that's that's totally fine. Uh, when oh, you're done, oh. can I can I get your second opinion on the thing? You okay, can. well you've al you've already fallen down now, so that's great. If you come over yes. here where I'm standing, I'm on your uh, your side of the house. To put it that way. Okay. Okay. Have a look at, th at this side right here. The other way. Here. Hi. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I keep forgetting that you don't have voxel maps. So I'm like, just look at the mini map. Okay. I really do not. Yes, that's cute. Yeah, look at that. I and mean, that go to go check the other side and see if you like that one better. Just to get your opinion, if okay. wh which variant works the best. All right, which which variant? Okay, let's see. Hmm. All right, let's check this side one more time. Because the way I see it, the quartz is supposed to be edible glue. Yeah. So it makes it makes absolute sense for this side over here. It's the logical side, but yeah. at the same time, I kind of feel like I want this to be something that you know a small child made to add to the whimsy. So I think the other side is going to be more appropriate because it gives a little more depth, and also yeah. because you can never go wrong with more frosting. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. <laughs> because like this is like basically like okay, we need to make sure that we use all the frosting. So let's yes. just pipe the edges of the roof out like crazy. Yes, it needs to be. It's I, I'm for for it's not obnoxious, but it's just you want to make sure everything stays put, and the extra frosting definitely does that. So yes, I I think this looks good. Um. Maybe it's just the way that I'm standing. It does it for some reason. It looks uneven. Why does one one side does look lower than the other? But I think I'm okay with that because it that's is, all part of the whimsy. It is perfectly level. Mm-hmm. As far as I, I can tell, fine. it is level. So before you went to uh, grab the quartz, I was saying to uh, the crowd that um, I was saying that. Uh, since Christmas time is almost here, um, I wanted to chat about um, Christmas traditions, and I wanted to know um, what are some of the things that you're looking forward to this coming week in terms of, um, you know, like how you celebrate Christmas. Ooh, um, well, um, several yeah, things. Uh, we have some like very Norwegian holiday traditions that I look forward to. Uh, such as we have every year we watch a uh, on um, I mean first of all and th this is can, can be interesting for the for your viewers who I assume are mostly Americans uh, oh, in, yeah. in Norway like most of Northern Europe we don't celebrate on Christmas Day we celebrate on mm -hmm. Christmas Eve 
So we don't we open our presents on the evening of Christmas Eve. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have uh, the the typical Norwegian uh, Christmas celebration is uh, first off you have Christmas porridge um, during the day usually around you know midday one one p.m. ish mm-hmm. no one yeah one p.m. Uh, and then you have dinner at around five or six traditional mm-hmm. Christmas dinner and then after that you have um, after that you have um, you open up the presents, you watch Christmas movies. Uh, we have a very special Christmas brew, if we can call it that, called uh, Aquavit. I've heard of that. Uh, in Norwegian, we call it Akivit, uh, which is basically a very spiced um, liqueur type of thing. And we always drink that for Christmas, just, a, you know, a tiny one for Christmas. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah, and we usually watch Christmas movies. It's a tradition that you watch a movie after you've opened the presents. Uh, personally, I always go for uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Why doesn't that surprise me about that is, you? That is the perfect Christmas Eve movie, because after a very <laughs> successful Christmas Eve, Clark Griswold shows you how to not do it. What should we build the... Um... What should we build the fireplace out of? Uh, I would say red, you know, traditional red brick, but that's just me. Do we have red nether brick? Um, or or do we have regular bricks? Um, maybe. Ooh. I honestly don't know. I'm just going to get a view from over here on how it looks because I trimmed the edges of the roof a bit. And oh, yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, let me come take a look. You know because... what? It, it, it is really starting to look like a gingerbread house now. The only thing is the chimney, it needs, really to, is. The chimney needs to be a lot taller. It does need... It needs to be at least... Um, hold on, I can work on that. Yeah, I would I say at least two... two or three taller. Yeah, at least two blocks taller. All right, yeah, I have the I have the wall. Let me get up there and I can fix it. Okay, I'll just stand over here and you know get the look from over here. I, it I has to be that. said, though, I haven't mentioned it yet. I think I mentioned it in my intro, but it, I think it's really, really nice that we finally got the opportunity to do another collab. I think Agreed. these collaborations are really, really fun. Agreed. I'm having a blast. It's just it's just the dang issue of time. Ah, oh, dang it. I used the wrong slabs again. It's just the issue of, you know, time zones. That it is. I mean, I'm on the East Coast. You're not on the East Coast. Nope! The... Did you fall down the chimney again? Maybe. I'm, we're going to have to put some sort of counter in the top right corner. How many times has NJ falling da- fallen down the chimney? So far it's only three or four. But who's counting, really? Well, Besides I am, everyone I am watching this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's see if I can do this again and not fall. Nope. Okay, there we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. There we go. Because what I'm going to do lastly, and I'm going to need a bunch of slabs. I actually have the slabs for that. I'm going to build a very Christmassy bridge. That is going to start right there. Over the snowball area? Yes. Kind of like a viewing deck almost. Yeah, that was actually in the original plan for this place, was to have a bridge. Really? Yeah, that goes across like this. Huh, okay. I think I'm just going to do the middle section first. Four. One, two, three, four. One. The thing is, I have to make the shape of the bridge look natural. Mm Mm-hmm. And I think... I've kind of succeeded in doing that. Uh, so far so good. I'm I'm happy with that. I'm just walking across it right now. I'm very happy with that. Okay. Yeah, this looks good. Okay. Do you are Stop you going the... to expand it further or you want it to be just one wide? No, it's going to be three wide and with a with okay. a one border. Okay, it says I can't connect to the server, so I'm going to try again. You might have to restart your Minecraft client. No, it's fine. I got it. Because it sometimes does that after a restart. Hmm. If I have to restart it, I have to restart it. There we go. 
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to restart the whole thing. That's fine. Okay, so that is gonna be the door. And that is gonna be the window. Yeah. So what if Looks we do so, far. so three three, Oops, what if sorry. we do another window there? Mm-hmm. And then the same so that's gonna be three three, so that's gonna be that, that, and these two. Yes, I like it. And then the question is, do I want to do what I did over here? Which is put the sort of framing. The f I feel like the framing doesn't really work that way, but what if I do... Do you... Uh, well, I think we have snow here and there. We do have snow. Uh, how did I manage to place two wrong in a row? There we go. Um, did I put all the snow in one of that? There we go. I was thinking, what if we do this? Yeah, I like that. Because then we can put something there, and it looks like it's glued in. As well. Okay, so... So we need invisible item frames. We need some sort of glass. Um, like glass panes. Because I, I just want to see it. Uh, dark oak, Dark oak in general... And also, um, we need some sort of brick. Okay, so brick, multicolored wool. I'm gonna wool. map out. I'm gonna map out the fireplace in red wool while I wait for you. You do that, and I'll first of all put some rockets into my inventory so I can fly, and I'll head over there and get it. Yeah, because I only see red concrete here. I don't think there's red wool. Okay, we are back at the gingerbread house after a supply run. So, we now have red nether bricks, courtesy of NJ. And we have item frames, courtesy of the dude on the nether roof. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I think we're ready to sort of start putting this thing together now. Yes, I actually went ahead and I started, um, before we went on the supply run, I started fiddling using um, this... Uh, red uh, mushroom block just because it's easy to uh, put up and take down to try to get an idea of what the um, what the chimney should look like and part of me feels as though the three wide isn't suitable but it has to be wide enough to make sense to have um, a campfire uh -oh, I realize I forgot the stuff for the campfire but I digress um to have the campfire in here, or two or three campfires to make it to make it larger, or something to that effect. Now we don't have fire tick on this server, correct? We do not have fire tick, because okay. I, what I was going to say, NJ, was if you keep, I'm just going to put these. I would say like that. Mhm. Mm I really like it, like the way it was on this side with that little notch on the side there. I think that design there looks really good. And actually, in terms, yeah, in terms of using the red mushroom blocks, uh, um, um, well, maybe not the mushroom blocks. That looks a bit like woodstock, but a little the, bit. Yeah. The shape, the shape, I really like. I think okay. the three wide is a good choice, and then you could just have like a whole. Ah, oh, I'm not supposed to break that without. Yeah. Okay. No, but you're fine. I was gonna say what we could do. We can. Uh, we can have like an open space like this. Yeah. So that... Exactly. And then we'll put the campfire... We can put three campfires here. Exactly, yes. Kind of like... Remember um, remember my Season Zero common room build? Yes, yes. Okay, that's exactly what I'm thinking of for this. Okay. The, now, oh, here's yeah. the other question I have. This is too wide. Is too wide... Too wide is okay, right? It's not going to... Oh, no, no, no. Say, on the no, this, is, this is perfect. So, okay. So, basically, it would be... Uh, like that. Exactly, yes. Exactly. And then we can just... We'll take that out. And you have the nether bricks. I do not. I have the nether bricks. Here, have a stack. Okay. There you go. Thank you kindly. All right, let's... Come come to Mama. Thank you. Oops. I have three... I have three bricks after that, by the way. All right, so... Okay, so you got... Yeah, see, exactly. Because then 
when we put this here, um, let's tear this all out. Okay. See that? Okay, see, that looks really good. I like it. Look at this. This looks really good. It has it has some form and function and depth, and, and it has like this mantle thing that where you, you yeah. we people could put pictures, but then it also conceals the rest of the chimney. Like what we would have to do is just cover up where the the hole where the lights coming yeah. in, and you can and I think we would be good to go. And you can do this. Yes. However, one of the thoughts that I had. Oh wait, I have some spruce logs. So one of the thoughts that I had was, um, like, I don't know how to do the the bottom. Like, I want to do something underneath, but just have like the spruce logs like this, and have iron grates across the yeah, front. Yeah, iron grates and then, in the front. And then I don't have a flint and steel on me, but just light that puppy up. Where did I put my flint and steel? Is the big question. Uh oh. I wasn't when I was recording earlier with with Johnny. Mm -hmm. I wasn't allowed to to have it mm. for safety reasons. Which, okay, that which makes sense. Makes, yeah, it makes sense. I, I that makes no, sense. There are certain people in in this world who shouldn't be allowed near power tools, and I'm one of them. Mm. Well, me too. And maybe this also has my flint and tinder. Does. Oh, nice! All right, I'm grabbing my iron box. Same. Um. I have both uh, iron and flint and tinder now. Okay. Oh, you have iron and tinder? Yeah, I have both of them. Okay, I'm gonna put this away then. I was just trying to fly using a golden carrot. It didn't work. Golden carrots are not fuel. No. I They're mean, bodily fuel, they but are, not. They are people fuel. Yes. All right. So back at it we go. So we get. Some iron grates. Put them across the... Exactly. Like, across across the whole thing, though. I want to see what it... Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm looking for. And Perfect. then you put the iron grates across the across it so that, you know, people don't hurt themselves. Okay, then I need to make the iron grates. And a brewing stand, um, as was suggested um, for, like, the poker and stuff. Someone had suggested a brewing stand on a slab. Like, um when uh when joe was doing his uh hermitcraft again going through his ravenloft build i thought that was a really smart idea so i'd really like to really yes yes exactly exactly yes feeling this this is wonderful like this is this, cozy this is screaming christmas to me yeah this is screaming christmas to me i love it uh, yeah, I mean, I spent most of my time on Seven of Mine before we started Shamblecraft, and then b just before the reset. Oh! Um. Did you fall in the terraform hole? Yeah. This is Scar approved terraforming. Rip. Well. Which, of course, means we just terraform the bits you see. And ignore the rest. There you go. You there's a lot of to... um. There's a lot of coal and iron down here, by the way. I mean, if we need it. Just gonna light that up. A little we're, bit. We're on a mushroom island, though. I know, but I couldn't see diddly squat. Oh yeah, it was it was quite dark. It but was yeah, very dark. I I have studied at the good times with Scar School of terraforming. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, which is basically uh, everything that can't be seen doesn't need to be terraformed, and accidental mm -hmm. mod mob farms are mob farms too. Um, trap door. White wool. We need some of that. I'll grab a stack of that, and we need. Um, I thought I. S oh, oh, we don't have red wool. We have red concrete. Oh, well, it's mostly the same, isn't it? No. Red concrete is very smooth and without texture. Let's see. Let's grab some blue. And... Oh, we do have red wool. Okay, I found it. I'm just realizing that when I'm rendering this time lapse, I'm going to have a time trying to find camera angles for all of it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's going to be a bunch of floor shots, like, sitting in... Basically... 
yeah, <laughs> rendering really it from good. inside the fireplace. If 15 carpet of that and let's see if I can figure something out cuz I want it I want there to be a nice big throw rug. So oh, yeah. I think what I want to do first is line it in blue. And I'm going to need more blue cuz I want this throw rug to be kind of big. Now granted we're not going to be able to put any um we're not going to be able to put any uh items on it but still all right, let's see what that can get me. Also, looking over at this end, do you think that roof height like that looks okay, or should it be one lower? Uh, this looks good. Okay. Then I'll keep going. Yeah, that's basically what I was thinking as well. Um, what did I do? You sat down on the carpet. Um, okay. Control or shift click to get out. There you go. Uh, that was kind of funny, not gonna lie. It's, it scares the bejesus out of people when we forget to tell them that, oh yeah, we have a mod that lets you sit on carpet and stairs. Oops. It's very okay. practical because, I mean, if you want to just, like, very much drive home the point that you're lazy, uh, then you can, like, ah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Geronimo! Ow. No. I'm, I'm gonna keep banging my head on this bloody... There we go. Okay, so now... The dies are behind you. Oh. I thought I dropped them on you, but I think there's a, a, t a tiny bit of lag. There very well might be. Okay, so now we make the yellow carpet... Perfect. That's cute. Hold on. That's bothering me. We now have That's four camp funny. we now have four campfires, so we'll have plenty. Uh, and I'll cover that back up. And then we'll fly up to the roof. And I'll try to hit the chimney without Ooh. Don't don't die. I was about to say the the problem right now is that if you fall down the chimney, you land in fire. Oh, that's not... Yeah, that's bad. Santa where is gonna... I... Oh, where did I put the bed? There we go. Hey, now the devil bats are on fire. Yes, the death pigeons are on fire. And they went poof. We can continue about our day. Woohoo! Okay, let's... Um, okay, so... Landing on the um... chimney, take two. N Nailed it. Okay, now to strategically place the campfire... Oh, I put these... I put these pieces too high. Derp. Is that going to be enough smoke? Yeah. Should they be one higher? No, yeah, that, that's Oh, yeah, fine. that's perfect. That is, that is, that is very good. I'm very happy with that. But, I mean, this yeah, is I... really, really starting to look like a gingerbread house. It is it really, really, is. really starting to. I have 34 invisible item frames left, and I'm not afraid to use them. I mean, we've already paid for them. We might as well use them. Mm-hmm. So... As I work my way around. I also need more green wool. More green wool. Um, mm hmm Where was the white wool then? Uh. I, oh, wait. I have it. I have it. Never mind. Okay.
Well, okay. So as you can see behind us, I think me and NJ, we are just about ready to call this done. I think so too. I think we did an excellent job. Um, it looks like a house. It looks like it's held together tenuously by lots and lots of globbed frosting. Mm. We've got our candy affixed to the walls, which is yeah. I mean the, I I I I mean I like the idea of it, but once you sort of saw it on the build itself, mm -hmm. those invisible item frames they really delivered. They are the they are the pog today, or um, oh yeah. They are the MVP for sure. They have definitely they delivered stellar. the goods. But I have to say, mm -hmm. I think for personal favorite touch for me, uh, I I really, really like the carpet. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. The oh, car awesome. The carpet absolutely nailed it. It's, there's something about that carpet and that fireplace and how it sort of brings it all together. I think the mm -hmm. thing that made this build really cool is all the little details here and there. Yeah, I'm really pleased with the fireplace, personally. I'm so glad we were able to kind of work it out together in terms of how to get it to look like a roaring fire, like a Yule log, with the um, with just setting a couple of spruce logs on fire and the iron grate. It really just kind of brings it home for yeah. me. And I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out with the, you know, the bridge leading from the Christmas tree over to the gingerbread house. Uh, oh, the, the bridge is gorgeous, the yeah. The decorations all around, you know, the smoking mm -hmm. chimney place. I mean, the, the smoking chimney place? The smoking chimney from the <laughs> fireplace. Um, I think... Oh, you know, the smoking chimney for sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it all it's all those little details that just absolutely helped uh, bring it all together. And Agreed. I think, I think we can honestly say that we nailed it. I think we did so and then some. I'm really proud of this build. Oh yeah, this is this is really really cool. I really like how this turned out. It's very um, if I can get up the thing, there you go. <laughs> it's very festive for the holiday, and I'm ready to um, I'm ready to throw presents under the tree and wake up in my pajamas and hot cocoa and and just wonderful wonderful memories are ahead. Oh yeah, I got the warm I got the warm and squishy feeling um, of joy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, right now I'm I'm more of you know getting into the PJs and jumping into bed because it is you know two a.m. in the morning for me. But you are a trooper. It's not even <laughs> eight. It's it's barely eight p.m. here for me, and um, I do have to say that I we've been wanting to collab together for so yeah. long because you know time differences and whatnot. But I'm really glad that we were able to make this happen. Oh yeah. Absolutely. It's our little place, and it's wonderful. Yeah, I'm really happy we were finally able to do this. Shout out to my parents for taking Edmund so I could actually stay up until 2 in the morning and record. Shout out to your parents from me as well, and to my husband, Manatee Gag, because um, he's been chilling in the living room this entire time, letting me have the space to record. But yeah, I think we've reached the point where I think it's time that we... We call it a uh, call this project done and dusted, and I, yes. I you know I think sugar dusted. Oh yeah, absolutely. Or powdered sugar dusted. <laughs> this this is the sort of gingerbread house that if you eat it, you are you. I mean, you're not doing any more that day. Nope. But that's I, for sure. I think there's no better place to end this episode than in front of the roaring fireplace. Agreed. Absolutely agreed. Look at this. This is yeah, just this is wonderful. Great. So with that, I think I'm going to say thank you very, very much for watching this episode. Um, and mm. from me to all of you, all my viewers and all the members of the Shamblecraft community, a very, very Merry Christmas and wishes for some very happy holidays. Uh, hopefully you get all the presents you wanted and most importantly, some peace and quiet and just, yeah, get to enjoy the Christmas after everything that's happened this year. So yeah, Merry Christmas from me to everyone. Uh, NJ, do you have anything you want to add? I do, actually. I just want to say thank you to um, not just those in my 
my cafe community, um, but everyone who has uh, supported me uh, this year. Uh, this wasn't an easy year for me for a number, a number of reasons, but all of you have helped me through. I want to say thank you to my patrons who are uh, amazing, wonderful. Um, my husband, my friends who um, continue to be supportive and just to all of you, I wish you a very happy holiday and that uh, that we find ourselves in 2021 with a lot more a lot more joy and positivity and that things end up uh, better. Yeah. And I, mm -hmm. I wholeheartedly agree. And, and same, thank you very much to friends, family, loved ones, maybe especially to my wife for, mm -hmm. you know, putting putting up with me, <laughs> for allowing <laughs> me to sit in the office until 2 a.m. and record, despite the fact that the office is just above our bedroom, so she has to actually listen to this. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, thank you very, very much, everyone. And, yeah. Merry Christmas from me and I'll catch you in the next one. And Merry Christmas from me and to you too as well, Fally. Yes, and Merry Christmas to you, NJ, as well. Alright. I think Take that's Take care, it. everyone. Wear Merry your masks, wash your hands. Be excellent to yourselves and to each other. Yeah, live long and prosper. And, uh, <laughs> and happy holidays. Bye! Take care. My elytra keeps activating and I'm derping over the carpet. <laughs> it is the perfect end to a shambles. Come for the lemons, stay for the shambles. Hey. Take it easy, everybody. <laughs> There's only oh, one... no, my elytra's going to! <laughs> There's only one word to... It's not ode to joy, it's more ode to oi. <laughs> See you in the next one, everybody. Bye. Bye.